Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I've been putting off for a while now, but it's finally time to get to it, and that would be a room tour. Um, so today I'm going to be showing y'all all the figures that I have in my collection, as well as all my manga sets, and basically just showing you around what I have at my place. So since I only started collecting a little less than a year ago, I still don't have that many things, uh, but I figured it was a good idea just to do a video now and then do another one later, uh, just to see how my collection has changed over time. Um, so yeah, but uh, since I do not have a still good equipment for uh, my video and anything, I'm just gonna have to use my phone's camera. So, um, so yeah, it might not be the best quality, but uh, I'll do my best just to get good close-ups. Uh, but let's get right to it and uh, start showing you my collection. So first up, let's start off by uh, showing y'all my uh, computer setup. So um, since I only started content creation like two months ago, uh, I never really need a, a computer setup, if you will. I always kind of just played um, my video games on my PlayStation, but uh, now that I'm into content creation, I, I started kind of like uh, building a little setup for my own. But uh, yeah, uh, I really don't have much. Like I said, I only kind of like started this two months ago, so I really haven't bought much. But uh, for now, I have this uh, L-shaped desk uh, I got it off of Amazon it has some nice uh, um, RGBs in there so I could color change them as I please um, it actually even has like a little kind of cup holder there for whenever I'm like uh, doing any content creation having to drink you know just kind of have it there and then for my chair um, I have a secret slab uh, secret labs uh, gaming chair i actually got this one off of marketplace for a great price it's the batman edition one but yeah and uh like i said i really never had the need for a, a powerful computer so i always kind of just used my macbook pro um that was doing fine just however i started needing a little bit more you know performance so i'm, I'm soon going to be building a new pc which i'll talk about that in a bit uh, I did end up getting a uh, secondary monitor. Like I said, content creation is just not the best for, in, a, in a laptop, in my personal opinion. Therefore, I just ended up picking up a monitor. This is uh, a Predator, and it's a, I guess it's a gaming uh, monitor. I know it can do like 144p, 144 uh, frames per second. It's got NVIDIA and everything, so, so not too bad. I mean, I got it off of the marketplace as well. Like I said, I kind of picked it up quickly. Uh, for my microphone, I just got a Hyper X one. I got it on sale on uh, Black Friday, so overall I got a good deal on it. And then for my keyboard, I got a, a Red Dragon keyboard with uh, RGBs in there. And just mouse, it's a Hyper X uh, mouse. Eventually I'll be getting one a little bit more comfortable for my needs as a content creator. But, the, like I said, this I have only purchased in the last two months, except for the laptop, which I already had for uh, my undergrad days in college. Um, but I will be building a PC and so far I already got the case. So as you all can see, I ended up getting one of the MSI cases, the, and this is the Evangelion uh, version. Uh, it, since this model came out like in 2022, right now all the parts, uh, Evangelion uh, theme parts are very hard to find. Therefore, they're all very overpriced. Therefore, I do know I've been taking it easy buying component after component slowly. So, so far I got the important part, which is the case. And uh, I got a little cooling uh, AIO there ready. Uh, so yeah, soon I'll be getting the, the power supply unit and then I'll be getting some memory. Then I'll just get one of those micro center bundles with comes with the CPU motherboard and the RAM. And then finally, I'll just get a, a very nice uh, graphics card but yeah, this is my setup at the moment. Like I said, it's not much, but like I said, I've only been doing this for like two months. Therefore, you know, I really haven't been able to invest that much in it. And I've been prioritizing on my uh, figure collection mostly. As you all can see, I have a Sean Dark uh, wallpaper on both of my screens. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Alter version of Sean Dark. So, yep, I have Tatter there. Uh, but yeah, let's move on, on to onto my um, bookshelves and TV. So this is kind of how it looks like from a distance. I have my two bookshelves uh, around my TV. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really do like my TV a lot. 
It's a pretty nice TV. It's an 83 inch uh, OLED uh, Sony Bravia Master Series. Uh, it did cost me a pretty penny, honestly, but it's the one that I use for my gaming and watching all my anime. So, of course, you know, I make that investment, but I really do like my TV. Um, but yeah, first let's start off with my bookshelves. And I don't know what brand these bookshelves are. I got them off the marketplace, like for $10 each. So, you know, I wasn't really very picky. Um, but up top, I have the Nian Guang uh, box that it comes. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I kind of like the style of that box and I just didn't want to put it in the closet. So I just kind of put it there. Uh, but yeah, first off on my bookshelves, I got my quintessential quintuplets uh, collection. You know, I got the entire set in there. Um, I got it off of eBay for a good price. I always buy like manga as a bargain. Um, usually I don't like to pay full price so yeah I got a good deal on those and then there I got my I host you know acrylic plate I got this of Amiami same with this one this is with the ending scenes uh, but yeah it's a pretty pretty nice one I like that a lot and then I have my Oshinoko uh, manga volumes there I need to get the fifth one but probably uh, that one I will have to pay actual retail for it since it's the latest one uh, but yeah, here are my second shelf. I got uh, nine volumes of Kami Can't Communicate. I got this one probably last week, again, off of the marketplace. Uh, but yeah, and then here in the center, I got my two Androids, in which I did an unboxing video of, of Marine Kitagawa. Well, Marine, and then <laughs> Shizuku Kuroi. Um, but yeah, and then behind them, I have one of those holographic 3D stickers of again Maureen Kitagawa. I like that one a lot. I got it off of um, some, I guess, uh, seller online. Uh, he does kind of this kind of things. But yeah, and there, here I have the up to volume seven of my dress up darling. I know I need to get like the other three of them. Uh, I'll do it eventually. <laughs> I already read them online, so I'm not in a hurry to actually purchase them. But um, yeah, underneath here we have up to volume 17 of Rent a Girlfriend plus um, the three volumes of the Shy Girlfriend with the uh, with Zumi. Uh, but yeah, I also just got most of these not too long ago off of Marketplace. I got a good deal on them. I, I'm already up to date with the manga, but you know, I like to have the physical of them. Uh, I'll get the other like three or four that are remaining soon. And then over here, I just have a little Waba Fed little figure. And then I have a little Pokeball in there as well. And a little, uh, it's kind of like a postcard that came with the uh, two figures I bought, which I'll display in a bit. And then down here, I got a few volumes of Dead Note. I don't have the full collection. I only have up to volume nine. I need to get the other last three, I believe. Uh, I got them, as I said, very cheaply. That's why I only have nine of them, but I will get the other three. And then here I have another one of those 3D stickers of L and Light Yagami. But yep, I got this one at one of those otaku um, vendor events that they have here in the city. But yep, and then I have a little a little Funko Pup there of Trafalgar Law. I got that one a long, long time ago, even before I ever start, started my collection. So I just kind of have them there in the box. And then here, uh, one of my favorite actually mangas is Nagatoro's. Um, I am up to date with it um, online, of course, reading it, but I still need to buy a lot, a lot of more volumes just so I can have them actually in my collection. And then down here, I have my box of my HyperX microphone, as well as of my Razer um, uh, mouse. Uh, but yeah, I just have it there. I really just kind of lazy and just put it there. And then I have a cassette of uh, one of my all-time movies, uh, my favorite all-time movies of all time. It's a VHS cassette of Armageddon. Um, but yeah, there I have my PlayStation 5, which I do play every day. There, next to my TV, I do have those, um, the dual charger. Um, just like that, whenever I run out of battery on one, I can use the other one immediately, so it's just kind of there. But, yep, like I said, I really do like my TV a lot. Uh, I have it on, uh, I believe it's an Ikea Vesta um, TV stand, I want to say. I mean, it is very, very big and heavy TV, weighs like 100 pounds. So, yeah, I did end up also getting this one off of Marketplace, like I said. I'm always a, a bargain buyer, so I always look for cheaper alternatives. I just gotta put in the work to transport it over here to my place, but yeah. And then next up on this other bookshelf, atop of it, I have the 
one of my figures boxes. I just really like this big box. You know, you can see the full figure with like a nice background. So I just kind of have it there. And I'll show that figure in a bit. That's me cool line of eternal by good smile company. Um, but yeah, here on my first uh, shelf on my bookshelf, I have the Demon Slayer collection. I believe I have, do have the full. That's all of them, I believe. I don't think I'm missing any of them. Uh, but yep, again, I also got those uh, from Marketplace for a very, very good price. Uh, and then here I have a little mini Funko of Naruto. It was given to me by someone. I don't remember who, but it was a gift. So of course I have to keep it. Then I... Um, Oh, those are that's another Ami Ami postcard. I just kind of put it there. Eventually, I'll have like a place where I'm gonna display all those Ami Ami cards. And that little kind of like flower decor, I got it uh, when I went to Hakodate, Hokkaido. Uh, I went to during cherry blossom season, so I was able. To, I picked that one up there as a souvenir. But yeah, then moving forward to my second shelf, there I have my Jujutsu Kaisen manga. I think I am missing a couple of them. Not many, I think, but yeah, uh, I just uh, same. I also got them again off of Marketplace for a good deal. There, I also have an acrylic of a figure that I got as well. I'll, I'll show the figures in a bit, um, but yeah, that was a nice little little surprise that came when I bought the figures. And actually, I will, you can see my reaction in one of my unboxing videos, but yeah. And then moving down here, I really don't have much. Uh, I only have the uh, When I Eat Your Pancreas manga. It's a little beat up, as y'all can see. I've been moving it around. But yeah, there I have that one. Then I have only one volume of Mashoku Tensei 15. I just bought it uh, a long time ago when I guess it was released. Uh, but yeah, I need to buy the full, full set. I'll, I'll just look at Marketplace again. And then I just have a drink there of uh, Izuku Midori or Deku. Then here I have a Goku, Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Goku, it's probably Super Saiyan 1 or 2, I'm not sure. Anyways, I got this one a while back. Uh, I really don't collect Funkos, but I, I guess I think this was a gift as well, so I, of course I was gonna keep it. And then I have uh, up to volume 11 of Chainsaw Man, which I really do like a lot. Uh, but yep, again, marketplace purchase, so it was pretty cheap. And then going down here, I have that little Sakura figure. Um, that almost looks like an Android, but I don't think it is. So I think like the like the quality is not the same. So I'm thinking it's probably like one of those Chinese ones that they sell. But it was a gift, so you know I appreciate it, and I just display it. I'm gonna get rid of it, and then I have here like a little Genshin like poster. I gotta get it out of there and frame it or something. And then a little uh, Tororo um, postcard that. Uh, someone sent me whenever I purchased one of the figures from them on my figure collection They just gave me that one there and they put a nice little comment thank you for your purchase But I really liked it. So I kept it and then here I also have Naruto and again the same quality as the Sakura But again, it was a gift therefore uh, I'm gonna display it uh, But yep, that's it for my TV manga little display. And then here on the right, I have my two little kitties. There's my little girl, Yuki. Uh, I know she's brown, she's gray. She's not white like the snow as the name suggests Yuki, but still. And here I have my little white boy, little curled up there in his cat tree. His name is Permian. I'm not gonna bother him because he's sleeping comfortably. But yeah, there is just my little my little vinyl player. And I have some stuff down there which I use to solder my lights and stuff, which I'll talk about later. Uh, but yeah, I still don't have that much wall art. I really need to buy a lot, a lot, a lot of scrolls and stuff. Uh, but I do have this one. I got it online. It's basically like a 3D print. And uh, it's kind of like as you move around, you can see it's Luffy. Ben and you got Itachi and then over here Vegeta and of course if you get closer to it you have all these different uh, characters that like change as you move so it's pretty pretty nice one I really like it a lot but yeah it's a nice little piece and then here I have uh, Mari a little little tiny piece I got got it off of eBay it was on an auction and there were some of the three of them 
uh, which is uh, Mario Gun Ray, and I just picked it up too, and I just kind of framed it. Um, but yeah, there's the Asuka above, and here's my world map with a few countries I visited. Not many, I've only been to probably like 12 or 13 countries so far, and I do like to travel. Um, but yeah, and then up here, we got that, uh, that little again, same as the Mari and uh, Asuka, I got Ray. Uh, but yeah, then here I have this also 3D print of Neon Genesis, and here it's Asuka with the Ava. Then you, you move around, it becomes Ray. And then lastly, Shinji. Uh, but yep, that's basically all the wall art I have at the moment. Like I said, I really don't have much wall art. I really need to get a lot, a lot more. And next up, I, I should show you my room. I really don't have that much stuff. This is where I have basically all my extra figures. But I do got a couple of details in here too, because I always buy them on the marketplace. And if I find a good deal, I just buy, buy, buy it, pick it up, and probably use it later. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, it's not. I really don't have that much. I only moved into my place like a little over a year ago, so I really haven't um, gotten much stuff here. As you can see, that detail is empty at the moment. Uh, I really only have a box of one of the figures in there, and I really don't know why I have it there. It's just kind of there. Then I have some light channels there that I use for my lighting, which I will uh, talk about in one of my videos on a future time. There I have my katana of that one time I did a cosplay of Trafalgar Law. Let me move that sword around just so y'all can see. But yeah, there it is. There's that sword. And then not much. I have a little bookshelf with a Google Home. Uh, I do have a little, couple of little extra stuff here, anime related. Uh, but yeah, I do have uh, my dress up darling. This is the Japanese version. I did pick this one and animate while I was, the, while I was over there in Japan. Uh, and then I guess a uh, postcard and Ami Ami postcard. I guess this is the February one. And what else do I got? Oh, uh, yeah, a little card from Tokyo Taco Mode. Uh, what else? Oh. I got a nice little kind of like book show, not book show, sorry, bookmark from um, Hakodate. Um, like I said, I went during Cherry Blossom and I went all the way to Hokkaido so I could see this park with all its cherry blossoms, very beautiful. And I did get this at the, the store over there. What else do I got here? I got a, um, one of those cards from uh, the summertime rendering, uh, but yeah, I got that. What else do I got? Mm, a card of Megumin. Uh, and one, oh, another card of, uh, oh my God, I'm coming out blank. Uh, I can't remember her name from Steins Gate. I know I really do like her a lot, uh, Mikaze, I think. I can't remember, it's been a while. Uh, but yeah, I have that card there too. And then I do have this, which is like a filing binder, I guess. I got him off of over there in uh, the airport. I think I got it off of, I wanna say Narita Airport over there in Tokyo, and one of those like gotcha things. Um, but yeah, it's like a little kind of like binder. Marine Kitagawa, I really do like it a lot. It's a little souvenir that I brought from over there, but yeah, I have it there. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's start showing some of the figures in my collection. So first up, I'm gonna start um, with my room detox and my bedroom. Like I said, I only have a lot of price figures here. Anything, any extra, so most of my skills are in my, my collection. But yeah, hey Google, turn on room detox. Okay, turning the room detox on. Um, so uh, above the detail, I have the box of the Altria Pendragon quarter scale by Freeing. Uh, I will show you all that figure in a bit, but yeah, I really do like the box. It's a pretty big box, but it's pretty nice. Um, and let me open up the detail just so y'all can get a closer look. So first off here, I have a Satsuro Gojo price figure. And this is one is by Bandai Spirits, I believe. Um, let me refer, I have all my notes here of all my figures. And yep, uh, that's from Bandai. 
And then next up, I have my Sanitsu, and he's ready to use his uh, his breathing technique. Uh, like I said, and it's a price figure, but uh, I like it. Eventually, I'll get a nice scale of Sanitsu since I really do like him, and maybe one of Gojo, but I haven't found that one that I really like. Uh, but yeah, next up we have Power. Uh, from Chainsaw Man, again, price figure. I got this one in Volks Osaka, Osaka, and one of those kind of stores where like they're behind uh, glass displays and you just tell the person at the front to pick them up. But yeah, uh, this one's again also by Bandai. Um, I'm gonna say, yes, no, it's actually by Taito. Uh, but yeah, and then behind her, I have the Angel. From the Angel Deck store spoils me one, uh, Mahiru, I believe is her name, with a little teddy bear, and I, uh, she's like a noodle stopper, so I just put her in uh, a little like barrel that I have here, uh, but yeah. Then over here in the back, I have Rin Tosca from Fate Series. Um, this one is uh, by Van Presto. As you can see, she looks a little, a little faded already. She's kind of an old figure. Um, I guess because it was used uh, when I got her, um, but yeah. And then up here in the middle, we got a Marine Kitagawa price figure. Uh, this one is by, let me see, I have it here in my notes, by Sega. Uh, so yeah, she's probably very popular. You're, trying, you're on a budget trying to get a Marine figure. Uh, it's all right. I think the body and everything is pretty decent for a price figure. The face is not the best, unfortunately. I mean, it's price figure quality, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, and here we have a Kurisu figure. Oh, I knew I was gonna remember the name, a Kurisu figure from Steins Gate. Uh, but yeah, it's a very nice price figure as a matter of fact. I really like this one a lot. Um, but yeah, I don't remember this core full uh, lineup. Um, let me see if I have it on the notes. Uh, no, I don't have it on my notes. But yeah, it's a very nice price figure, and uh, for the price, I think it's she's a great one to get. But yep. Then down here in this shelf, I really don't have much. I only have like a lot of like extra volumes of my rental girlfriend because I have I, I ended up buying a set, and then I found another more complete set, so I ended up buying both. But yeah, eventually oh, I'm probably selling these ones. And I have a lot of little miscellaneous little guys in there. There I have Denji, and then a little leg of the Katana Demon, and then uh, Wakana Gojo. Uh, <laughs> they're all like on the floor. I need to buy a little piece of Lego so I can stick them on there since they are Legos and then a Chainsaw Man Lego. They're just like an above angle. And then there we have a Chainsaw Man, and then a oh, poor Marine over there. Uh, she fell. I guess her base has lost her little little piece of plastic that holds her up. I need to fix that. And then down here, so these are kind of the reject figures, unfortunately. Uh, I'll say the why. So at the very back, I do have a Kurumi. Um, so the reason as to why this is one of the rejects is because this one's actually a bootleg. Um, once I started my collection, I wanted to get a little better figures. Um, after a more, I would say better than the price figures. I was looking on eBay and I came across this one for a cheap price and I didn't know any better. And the quality, yeah, it's it's, it's not good. It doesn't compare clearly. Uh, once I started getting my scale figures and I saw the difference in quality, she became unfortunately a reject. So yeah, I don't wanna throw her away, but also, you know, I don't really like her too much. So she's just there. And then next to her, it's another reject. Uh, it's Marine Kitagawa, the Succubus, Succubus version. Uh, again, another bootleg. Uh, I don't really like her too much neither. The face looks pretty messed up. Uh, let me see. As y'all can see, eh, uh, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I guess I'm not really much into bootlegs. Uh, uh, but like I said, it's not, not too bad, I guess, but I just don't like her that much. And then here, unfortunately, broken up is my Naruto. Uh, this I bought like a lot of years ago before I even was into figure collecting. I got this one at the at the 
pawn shop from Pawn Stars when I was in Vegas. So so he's been part of my collection, I guess, for years before I even had a collection. So he's just there, but I guess the plastic started to like get damaged. Uh, but yeah, as y'all can see, like here on the back, it did those holes uh, there in the cape. Those were not there, uh, I guess, just wear and damage and erosion of the plastic, I guess. And then right here, I have a little Nami figure, this one. Uh, this one, it is a price figure. I just can't remember what brand it was. Uh, let me refer to my notes. I'm pretty sure I have it here. Um, let's see, let's see, Nami. Oh, this is by, by, by Impresto. This is the dramatic showcase version. So it's from that scene where uh, she cries uh, Luffy for help during the Fishmen uh, whenever they go to Nami's hometown and uh, they gotta defeat Arlong, Arlong Saga, I guess. Uh, whenever he get puts the hat right now that they actually did the live action so a lot of people know about that scene so i do need to get the luffy that goes along with her so i guess she's just kind of rejected for now until i get the luffy to complete like the scene uh but yeah that's it for this uh detox in my bedroom like i said this is not much it's just like the extra stuff i have but now let's move on to my main display hey, google turn on display case So yeah, as you all can see, I have my display cases set up with my Google Assistant. Uh, I will do a tutorial on how I did my lighting and the setup with the Google Assistant in another time, hopefully soon. I really do want to get that video out for y'all. since a lot of people have been asking me about it, but yeah, uh, let's turn on the lights here at my place just so I can see the figures a little better. Um, but yeah, so let's start off over here with this very first detail. Uh, so yeah, up on this first detail, I have Altria Pendragon and it's a quarter scale by Freeing. I really do like this figure a lot. Uh, I actually did uh, my unboxing video. It was the last video I actually posted of her. I actually got her for a seal off of Amazon. So, so it was a great purchase in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, overall, she's a great figure. I really do like it a lot. Actually, Altria, Saber, John Doar, however you want to call her. She's one of my favorite characters. So I do try to collect as many figures of her as I can. You'll see my collection of her well, time and time again. But yeah, overall, a great figure. Like I said, I got it for a great price. And then let's go to this first one. Let's open this one up. So first off, I have uh, Nik no Nakano um, from the Quintessential Quintuplets. This is the date version, 1-6 scale. And uh, this is a great, great lineup of the Quintessential Quintuplets. In my opinion, it's the best one, the date versions. Um, but yeah, Good Smile Company did a great job on her, as y'all can see. Very, very detailed, very nice. The base, the, the bases look all kind of like the same. But yeah, she looks great. And then uh, next to her, we got her one of her sisters, Nino Nakano there with her little phone. Also, date version. Like I said, I'm trying to get all of them in due time. It's just um, so far I've only been get, able to get Nino and Ishiki. Next, next time I want to get Yatsuba. Uh, but yeah. Then behind them, I got Chika from Kaguya Sama Love is War. This is actually a seventh scale, but in my opinion, she's kind of big considering that Chika is a very petite character and yet she looks pretty big, all things considered, next to the Nino and the Ishiki. But yeah, that's the first shelf. I do need to get risers and some posters and stuff to you know to just decor my uh, books, sh my shelves. But uh, I'll do it in due time, like I said. Um, but yeah, up on this shelf, I got first of all um, a Ruby, not Ruby, sorry, uh, Akana Arima. She is a price figure from Bandai Spirit. So uh, eh, overall, again price figure uh, quality not the best I'm really looking forward to my scale figures I have pre order uh, I ordered this one a few few months ago like over half a year ago and I was still kind of like on the fence of buying a lot of scale figures at the moment but yeah so I got that one and then behind her 
we got a uh, Shizuru Mitsuhara price figure over here. Let me get her out so y'all can see her up close. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty decent uh, price figure. Um, like I said, it's price figure quality. She's pretty nice overall. All right, and then uh, let's put her back over there. And then next up, we got uh, Buka. And uh, again, nice little little price figure. Maybe you're not trying to break bank and still get some nice figures. I'm sure there's pretty good price figures out there. And I think these two are pretty decent. And then here, another Ruby, uh, Ruby Hoshino figure from Hoshinoko also alongside the Kana Arima. And again, very decent. Uh, I pr actually prefer this one over the Kana Arima one in terms of like quality, even though they're from the exact same lineup. Um, but yep, I'm still waiting on my mem show to come in, but I did order Surface on the mem show, so that one's gonna take a long time before she gets here. Um, but yep. And then down on this shelf, I do have the five queens, or quints, has quintuplets. Um, but yeah, I got these ones uh, when I was in uh, Osaka, uh, Volks Osaka. I got the entire set there. I really do like these a lot, even though they are, like I said, they're price figures. They're amongst, I think, the best um, sets out there. I know there's not that many actual sets, aside from the date version and the Kotobukiya ones, which are scale. But yeah, if you're not trying to bake, break bank, you can definitely get this set. It's a, it's a set I highly recommend. They're by Corful, Taito lineup, I believe. Um, but yeah, overall they're great figures. You all can see there. I have my my favorite Quinn uh, Nino at the very front, which causes I know I said Nino is my favorite. It causes a lot of discussion. Who's the favorite of the Quins? Uh, but yeah, there's Nino and Ichiki, and then oh they have on the back it's uh, it's Itsuki and Ishika, and then Yotsuba and Miku, and it does say, it actually has their names at the basis. So overall, pretty nice figures, and I said for price figures, I can't really complain. And then up here at the very bottom, I do have a, a Mitsuki, um, what's it called? Uh, Matsuri, Matsuri figure from Demon Slayer. But yeah, like I just got that one kind of like on an impulse. It was a pretty cheap buy. And then over there in the back, we have an Asuna price figure. Yeah, I don't like that one. Honestly, I think the face looks very weird. Um, uh, I don't like that price figure. I'm probably gonna sell it for like 10 bucks or something because I really don't like it at all. Um, but yeah, then let me move this out of the way. Over there in the back, I actually have a Captain Levi and it's a price figure as well, but this one's kind of tall and it has a lot, a lot of accessories. So it's a, it's a pretty nice one for a, for a price figure. Uh, very high quality in my opinion also. It's a Van Presto Master Series figure, which I really do like. It also has like the ODM gear down there. Uh, but yeah, overall like for a price, it's a great, great figure, but it is a little more expensive than your average price figure just cause it's the Master Series. And then uh, over here, let me put this one out. I do have a, a zero two figure, pop up parade actually. Uh, she's ugly. Yeah, what can I say? All the zero two figures, in my opinion, look ugly except um, for probably the wedding dress scale figure. That's the only decent one so far that's come up. But yeah, this one I don't like at all. Yeah, I'm also probably gonna sell her because yeah, I don't like her. Oops, I dropped my ruby price. Uh, the price over here, but yeah, here it is. The Ruby Hoshino price figure. Uh, I, I don't like it neither. Uh, I know I'm very, very, very picky with my price figures. I, I know I shouldn't, but um, yeah, I don't like her at all. I think the, the, the skin is too pale in my opinion. It's by the Trio Triad lineup on Taito, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I don't like just the skin color. She looks like pale as it, as it, as it gets, as you can all see next to like the other skin colors on the other characters yeah she's pale as hell uh so that's a no and i actually do like this one a lot uh this is hotaru uh from Degashi kashi uh yeah she's a great great character i really like her i think she looks gorgeous uh if they released a very very solid scale of her i would definitely buy it so far i haven't found any that i really like but again there's not many um figures of Degashi kashi uh but yeah i really do like hotaru a lot and then here in the middle, we got Denji, a little Denji 
price figure and there he has Pochita, oh it's a little cute Pochita. Uh, this one's pretty nice, pretty cute. Um, uh, again, uh, it's a price figure, but uh, I like it. And then over here sitting down, we got Ana Yamada from Dangers of My Heart in My Heart. Um, but yeah, she's sitting there in a little stool, with like offering little chips, um, little snack as she likes to do, eat a lot of snacks in the library. Um, but yeah, overall, that's that's a nice one. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. Uh, but yeah, pretty decent price figure. Uh, but yeah. Now, let's move on to the big, big ones. Uh, so this ones I have them, I have my, uh, some of these uh, shelves on right on a riser, which I'm using an Ikea Besta, and I just reinforced uh, with some L brackets, just so, you know, the weight wouldn't actually uh, make them come tumbling down. Uh, but yep, um, so let's see. So let's open this one up. You get a close up of them. So, up at the front, I do have my Kirito. I love this figure so much. I do like Kirito. I do like SAO in general, but I do like the original SAO. So, of course, I love this one. Um, this one, I believe, is by Alter. Um, it's a 1 7 scale figure. Um, and yeah, I really do like this figure so, so damn much. It's one of my favorite figures actually in my collection, even though it's not very dynamic or anything. Unfortunately, the little um, sword holder is kind of like very fragile. So even if I move it a slide, it's all gonna fall down. I really need to glue, glue that one just so it stays in place. I guess the little pig is kind of worn already. But yeah, overall a great Kirito figure. My favorite Kirito figure in my opinion. Then over there in the back, we got D. Um, let's see if I can get a close up. D from the A and Z lineup. This figure is by my Ethos. I do like the A through Z lineup. I do have a couple pre-order there and I do plan to get some of the other ones that are released out in the aftermarket eventually. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's a, it's a great little figure right there. I got it for a good price on Mercari here in the US. Um, but yeah, uh, unfortunately that damn sword and attachment they're pretty damn long, so these figures are kind of hard to like put on a got in a good uh, display case. Um, but yeah, next to her, I do got ZS S from the A through Z lineup as well. Uh, I do like S. They, I have one on my pre-orders. Let me get a nice little focus there um, on my uh, pre-orders, and that next one looks so good, so good. I think it's going to be one of my favorite ones of the year. But yep, I got this one from a seller on MFC as well. This one's very hard to find actually. A lot of people are selling her for like $300. But yeah, that's that shelf. And then up next, I do have my Jinx from League of Legends. Uh, she looks great. I know some people don't really like her too much. I think it's one of the best ones. Um, not the best Jinx figure in general, but um, one of the uh, best Mayitos figures that I've come across myself. Um, but uh, yeah, overall she's great. I really do like the detail. Again, my ethos quality. I really am a fan of my ethos in general. Uh, it's a great figure. I did end up picking this one up just because it was in my local um, area on the marketplace and somebody was selling her for a steal. And she does light up, which I, I, I can't show right now, but uh, the little kind of like base does light up. Um, but yep. Overall, great figure of Jinx. And then going up a shelf. Let's see. I got my Rem Demon. This one was honestly one of my first very, very expensive figures. It is by E Stream. And as a lot of you all know, E Stream's been known to be very, very expensive when it comes to the figures. But I really do like this one a lot. I know a lot of people don't like these. Um, what's it called? Demon version figures or this this big this lineup of RAM because I know there's also the, the crystal dress version, but I do like this one a lot. It's one of my favorite figures in my collection. Uh, like I said, I do pay a lot for her, just mostly because uh, she's a high quality figure first and second, the box is huge, so shipping is very, very expensive. But overall, I still like this figure a lot. Um, but yeah, next up, Let's go with, uh, what's it called? Ning Wang from Genshin Impact. And this one is by Apex as well. 
Uh, but yeah, this is overall a great, great figure. I uh, really like this one a lot. That's the one that came in that huge box that I have above my bookshelves. Um, she looks great. The detail is very, very good. Has a lot of little things, little good, like um, accessories on the side, little scrolls, like kind of leaves. Um, but yeah, overall, a very, very good figure. I know this one's kind of pricey in the aftermarket as well. Um, but yeah, it's a good one. have above um, this two, uh, I only have the two boxes of my two Nendos that I recently uh, unboxed and then there I do have a resin of uh, Nezuko uh, I got this one in Akiharaba so I don't remember the manufacturer but it, it lights up the moon uh, you can just connect it and the moon lights up it's a very good figure pretty nice pretty uh, detailed as you can, can see I mean I do like it a lot but yep, she's all the way over there. But yeah, I like that one. Okay, so next up, let's go over here. All right, so next up, it's gonna be on this bottom shelf on my uh, double door um, shelf uh, display case. I actually got this one, this is from Wayfair. Uh, this one was a little pricier, but it, that's pretty big, so it fits a lot of figures in there. Uh, but anyways, uh, first off, we have uh, Shinobu Kocho uh, from Demon Slayer. This one is, uh, I believe it's a 1-8 scale, and it's by Aniplex, and it's just kind of her doing kind of like a little like flip, I guess, if you will. Um, and it's kind of like in the in the flames, or I think it's in their flames. Uh, but yeah, um, anyways, it's a pretty, pretty decent figure, though, however, I'm... Probably gonna sell her so just so I could replace her with the um, what is it Apex I believe Apex version or is it Alter I can't remember but yeah there's a Shinobu and Wishes she's just vertically standing up I know it's not as dynamic as this one but I just prefer that one for some reason um, but yeah over there in the back we do have an Asuka and this one is a price figure but she looks pretty pretty good um, I really like this one a lot it is in a racing uh, outfit. Um, I don't know if this is by Sega, I want to say it is, but yeah, overall it's a nice little figure. I do need to get the, the right version of her. Um, but yep, over here in the front, this is one of the best price figures I've seen to date. This is uh, my Marine Kitagawa with the Shizuku uh, cosplay. Um, but yeah, overall, a great, great uh, uh, price figure. Taito, well, psh, they went out of the park with this one, as y'all can see up close. Oh, my God. She is so good, especially for a price figure. Um, she's like sitting down on kind of like a little sofa, and then she even's got the little metal chain, which I do like a lot, as y'all can see the kind of detail even on the leggings, which is, I, like I said, it's a price figure. Keep that in mind, and uh, it looks like that good. It even has a little kind of like a sketchings for her cosplay that uh, Gojo drew for her. But yeah, it's a great, great, highly recommended as a price figure if you really like Marine Kitakawa. And then over there in the back, I do have a Roxy figure. Uh, honestly, I think this one I got it like when I started collecting. I think this one might be like a bootleg, but it has a pretty decent bootleg uh, if I'm being honest. Therefore, I kind of kept her here in my main displays. I really do like this one a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's very likely it is kind of a bootleg as you all can see the paint job there is not the best. And if she is kind of like, uh, she. you can remove the cape and the... Uh, the hand and everything it does that like the little scene where she's covering herself uh, similar to the real one but yeah i think it is like i said a book like that i didn't pay that much for her so i'm not too mad about it and then here up front i do have the rin tosca and the narrow claudius scale figure 017 and they're by stronger i am missing the saber uh type moon racing that goes with her as you all can see it kind of uh, generates like a shield emblem at the very top and i'm missing that one at the very top last corner uh i will get her eventually i just really have been spending my money on other things um 
if uh, any of my subscribers uh, want to gift her for me I won't be mad at y'all <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding but yeah eventually I will pick her up whenever I have the the money just so I can complete the set uh, but I really do like these figures and then over there the way back we got my Nino Nakano and that's by Kotobukiya it's a 1 8 scale I believe uh, but yeah since ever since I started getting the date versions I really don't really like this version of the coins that much anymore so yeah I'm um, probably gonna sell that one too um, but yeah and I'll just focus on getting all the the day version quints uh, yep all right and then let's move up to the next shelf and here we start with my um, Evangelion uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion collection I do collect, try to collect a lot of these I do like uh, Asuka a lot um, so yep uh, so of course I have this one this is a 1.7 scale um, by uh, Hobby Max, I believe. Yes, Hobby Max. And they're by the Radio Ava lineup in this part two of Radio Ava. Uh, overall, I really like this figure. It's very, very detailed, as you all can see. I do try to collect like fashion lineup. And this is definitely one of the best ones. Very, very nice of Asuka, her face, the hair. Hobby Max did a great job with the hair. As you all can see, very flowy. She even has the hat there on the back. And overall, a great, great figure of Oscar. I really like this one. And then over there in the back, we do have Ray Ayanami, also uh, by Hobby Max again, uh, Radio Ava lineup. This is also version two, I believe. No, this is version one, version one. Yes, this is version one or part one of Radio Ava lineup. I didn't get the part two one. I really didn't like it. The, the style was very similar in the clothing as the first Oscar but uh, I didn't like it for, for Ray, so I got this one instead. Uh, but yeah, she looks very, very good. Then up here at the front, we got another Asuka figure. This is the Jersey version Asuka, and uh, I don't remember this one's by Apex or Alter. Uh, I don't really remember this one. Let me see, I have it right here. It's by Alter, okay. It is by Alter. This one's kind of hard to find lately. And if you find her, usually you have to pay a little too much for her. Um, it's a good figure, but I don't see why a lot of people are overpaying for her. I honestly got her for a very good price. And that's the only reason why I do own her. But yeah, she looks good overall. Very, very good figure. I like it. And then next up over here, another Asuka. And this is also by the Radio Ava lineup and it is part one. Uh, again, I do like uh, Asuka a lot, so I do have uh, plenty of figures of her. I do want to get more eventually though. Uh, but yeah, I do like this one. I just don't kind of like that little nose. I don't know, in my opinion, it looks kind of like a weird little nose. Um, but yeah, but still, looks good. And over here, I did do an unboxing video of this one. This is my Misato and Penpen down here. Uh, this is by Mega House. This is a very nice figure. I really like it a lot. I think, in my opinion, it's the best Misato um, scale figure out there. Uh, some will disagree, but I do like it a lot. And uh, of course, I had to get her from my collection. All right, then moving up uh -huh. to the next shelf. So here I do have the my Miku Land of Eternal, as you all saw the box above my bookshelves. Uh, I got this one here locally. Uh, I got it for a good price in my opinion, so I did end up picking her up. It's a very nice Miku figure. It really stands out a lot. She looks great. Very, very nice, very detailed. I do want to like actually put her on her own shelf eventually and just kind of do like a little display. I've seen some YouTube videos in which people have displayed, I think this one or other ones with like some leaves and stuff and just kind of set her up. Very nice trying to display her, but yeah, I really do like this one a lot. I think she looks great, very beautiful figure, but she is kind of pricey usually because of her shipping. So I got lucky when I got her locally. And then, uh, I'm just falling again into the like the Chinese dress style. I do have this one, and that's the Miku Chao Hao, and this is by Mayitos. This is a very very nice figure. I think she looks great. I really did do like this one a lot. Uh, it was one of the. It was actually my first Miku figure I bought. I was really like hunting for this one, and also hopefully eventually I can display her alone, and I'll just use I'll uh, put some kind of like Chinese uh, background. Uh, but yeah, I think this one looks great. Like I said, the colors are flat where they need to be. They're glossy where they need to be, like that pot. That one looks glossy and looks pretty nice. Her skin color, her tone, everything looks very nice. Uh, I really do like this one. 
but yeah and then next to her another miku again with like another kind of um chinese dress uh this one uh the name is uh it's a mouthful for sure let me see if i can if i can say the name it's the gao shan liu shu version uh, probably wish you that, but uh, anyway, she looks great. I also got this one locally. I got her from a seller um, Just here in the marketplace and uh, he sold it to me for a very good price. It's a very good figure This one I believe is by the Good Smile Company uh, Or Good Smile Shanghai, one of the two, I'm not sure But uh, yeah, I think she looks great. She's there just playing kind of like, I don't know. It's not an R it's like, I don't know what the name of that uh, instrument uh, but yeah, overall she looks great. I really do like this one a lot. And then in the top shelf of uh, this uh, display case, I, I do have this one. I did do actually do uh, an unboxing video of this one. So it's part of one of my haul videos. And let me see. We do have the names here. It's Ren and Akuru from Oshima Love, Wife is Overhose Bundles. And it's by Apex. I did get this one on the steel um deal on uh, amazon i didn't pay that much for them and it did come with an acrylic um display which that's the board that i showed earlier from my bookshelves and yeah i didn't pay that much for her for them for the set so i thought it was a great deal but yeah if you're interested in that you can uh, go watch that video i do have it on the thumbnail so you know which video to look for uh, but yeah they look great together very cute couple and yep they really went out of the park for this one and like i said they have like a joint base you can buy them individually but honestly i would recommend y'all get the set and you might also get that display plate that i also got acrylic plate and then over here in the back like i said i do like john john alt john dark saber however you want to call her altria um but yeah this is i think uh altria pen dragon formal dress version this is by aniplex i really do like this one a lot i think she looks so beautiful but up close um and yep i really do like this dress it's kind of like see-through at the very top part and then the base looks very elegant it's simple but very elegant um but yeah overall a very good figure and then uh moving forward over here to the very center i have the queen herself on her throne this is nakari arena uh, from Shokugeki no Soma and um, I bought this one off of MFC from somebody in Canada and I really do like this one a lot I mean it stands out a lot definitely because of she's sitting on the throne but yeah overall a very very good figure and yep I suggest you get her if you like Shokugeki no Soma hopefully I find a good scale figure eventually of uh, Soma Kun there you can hear her. Um, but yep next up uh, another um, Altria, I think that's how they call her, Altria Pendragon, like I said, that was switched the name, so I don't know. Uh, this is the British Travelogue version by Aniplex. Um, I got this one also off of MSC. I really like this one a lot. It has the little suitcase right there on the side and kind of like a white dress with like a purple hue on it. And she does have her little like traveler um, hat on the back. And it looks pretty nice, pretty cute figure. Oh, I like it. And then uh, I just recently did an unboxing video of this one, and this is my Shizuro Mitsuhara by one slash one seven scale. Uh, she looks great. I really do like this one. It's my favorite Mitsuhara figure so far. If you want a more in-depth uh, video about her, you can watch my uh, video. Um, but yeah, overall, very good. She is kind of pricey, like I mentioned in my video, but she looks very, very good. And with that, we we're done with the middle shelf. <laughs> uh, we only got two more to go. So here at the very bottom, we got Mona um, from Genshin Impact. Uh, I can't remember what's the brand on this one uh wonderful works okay it's by wonderful works i actually got this one for a steal also like i said I, i'm a bargain shopper and i got her from somebody off of mmc they did tell me that like the water effect one of the little pieces was broken 
but they just glued it back in down the, and it wasn't even like a cut or anything crazy it was just like from the base it got kind of like broken it's not a piece snap and the person super glued it together in the same picture it looked pretty good and i was more than happy with her and like i said for the price i got her i feel it was a steal um but yeah next to her we got another little witch and that is mega bean this is by C um by ca works i want to say um this is a 17 scale figure uh she actually looks bigger than a 1 6 scale considering that mega bean is a very petite individual again i mean she's like a little kid if you will like, she's almost the size of mona even though mona is a full grown adult and over there she's like a little little kid but anyways uh overall it's a very great figure uh it's a very good Mega Man figure. However, they are making a lot of new Mega Man figures. I did see that One Fest, they're going to be doing a very, very nice one. East Stream is going to be making another good one. And uh, I do have the other Eastream one, which I'll show right now. But yeah, this CA Works one is pretty, pretty good too. Uh, if you can find it for a good price, I recommend you pick her up. And especially if you like uh, Konosuba. And then over here, the best girl, Marine Kitagawa, as I've said in a lot of videos. Uh, she's my favorite female character in an anime. This one's the 1 7 scale by Aniplex in her school uniform version. Uh, again, I did do an unboxing video on this one. Um, but yeah, like I said, I really do like it. I think Aniplex did a great job on her. Uh, the attention to detail, you can see it there with her little baggie and her little charms. And yep, overall, a great figure of Marine. Um, very excited for the one also that Mega House is doing, which is like a similar post, if you will. I will uh, pre-order that one for sure. Um, but yep, and over there in the back, uh, I really do like this one, but it is, however, a resin figure. So I know not, not a lot of people like, some people don't like resins. Uh, anyways, I got this one for a great price, so I picked it up. And this is Marine Kitagawa in the Succubus. Um, uh, cosplay uh, this one is by celluloid studios I really do like it it's not too big it is pretty heavy though the base is pretty heavy and it has all the like the little gimmicks that they use on um, that scene uh, when they were doing the cosplay photos on my dress of darling but overall I think she looks great it's a very good figure of Marine Kitagawa and Succubus I know that they have announced a couple of them uh, but even at that, uh, all the ones that they they have announced officially and are out for pre-order, uh, uh, in my opinion, this one's still my favorite. Uh, but we'll see whenever they release, because I've seen a couple of, le of photos of the prototypes that are going to be released eventually, and they look pretty good, so we'll see. But yeah, overall, she looks great. And up top, uh, another Marine Kitagawa figure, like I said, best girl. And this is the swimsuit version by Aniplex. And that one does come with like the little base, um, like mats, I want to say, or the wood floor, if you will. And then also has with the, the little, uh, what's it called, uh, the tiny mats, I know, uh, futon, futons. I think I think they still call them futons over here in Japan. Uh, but yeah, and then it even has like her little clothes all nice and folded, her little clothing, her little purse. Uh, but yeah, overall, very good figure of Marine Kitagawa. I really like it a lot. So far, probably my favorite figure from Marine Kitagawa, just in the detail. Aniplex did a good job on this one. Um, but yeah, uh, again, if you want a little bit more detail, you can see my unboxing video. And then one of my holy grails to this day, and that is Megumin Explosion by E-Stream. Oh, I do love this figure so much. I, I will never sell this one. Um, just, it's so good. I, I was hunting this one for a while now. Um, until eventually I finally found her. Um, and I did get her brand new off of eBay. I know that Tom Tokyo Taco Mode was doing a good sale on the E-Stream figures, but I still got her for a better price than what they were selling her for with shipping included. I think it is so nice, so dynamic, so good attention to detail. And I think Megumin looks great on this one. I really do like it a lot. Um, but yeah, still, like I said, one of my holy grails. Uh, I will never sell this one. Um, but yep. And then above that, I have a, an Asuka figure. It's a price figure from Sega, and I just kind of still have her in the box. I just never took her out, and I just always kind of leave her there. Down here at the very bottom, we have Metal Greymon from Digimon. 
Uh, I got her. I got this one locally. This one is uh, by Matt with a house, but it does not have a scale sizing to him. I guess I mean Matt Graham is huge, so I mean uh, I figure. Um, but yeah, overall he looks pretty good. Uh, I don't. I haven't seen this one being sold too much. I guess because it's a uh, Digimon. I guess uh, it's not very very popular, but I really do like him a lot. And again, it's Mega House quality, so it's pretty pretty good. And yeah, eventually I do want to get an original Digivice. But like the original retro ones are pretty expensive again because it's like from from well 20 something years 30 years ago so yeah they're pretty expensive the original ones but eventually i will get one and i'll just kind of display him right there the digivice next to my metal graymon and yeah uh, and then up on this shelf i have my hero academia characters all price figures um uh, here on the left we got uh, deku Izuku Midoriya. Uh, I got this one over there in Japan, also in Volks, Osaka. Um, but yep. And then over there in the back, I don't remember her name, honestly. I know she's part of the big three and she has that gravity uh, energy or like, I don't know, cosmic energy, whatever the energy source she has. But uh, yeah, I have that one too. Then right here on the back middle, I have Lemillion. Uh, again, one of the big three. Uh, I do like him a lot as a character. Um, and then here in the center, we do have Hawks. I got this one again also in, I think I actually got this one in Tokyo, not in Volks, Osaka. Uh, I got her like in Akihara, but in one of the local stores. Uh, but yeah, uh, pretty good. Then right here next to him, I have Shoto Todoroki, I figure. My favorite character from my hero academia i think he looks pretty good i have considered getting uh, one of his skill figures um but i uh, i don't know the, the one i like is pretty pricey i can't remember the name of the company that's doing like the ones with the comic strip ones um uh, i'll come to me the name of the company but yeah i think they look pretty pretty good but it's kind of pricey so we'll see if i get them then on the back, I have a Bakugo. I'm not a fan of Bakugos, but he's over there in the back. Uh, but yep. And up here is gonna be my one of my favorite male characters. And as y'all know from my handle, Fire Fist Mario, this is the Fire Fist, Fire Fist Ace, uh, Porky's the Ace. Uh, but yeah, this is a price figure, but overall it's a very, very good price figure. I really do like this one a lot. I think the shading looks pretty decent. Uh, I think the quality is pretty good. Like I said, for a price figure. Uh, but yeah, eventually I will get um, a scale figure. I want to get that one where he's like, uh, no, like uh, a lot of flames with Luffy. Uh, but yeah, that one's again pretty pricey as well. So eventually uh, I will pick him up eventually though. Speaking of Luffy, he's over there in the back. Again, another price figure. Uh, I got this one again in uh, Volks Osaka as well. Uh, but yep, very simple, very nice though. And then over here, I do have the Chainsaw Man. Uh, again, price figure, quality, uh, pretty decent, uh, but I'm not that big of a fan of Chainsaw Man enough to get a scale figure. I know East Room has a very good one of this uh, Chainsaw Man, but eh, I, I don't think I will pick him up. I'm more than happy with this one. And then uh, over here above, we have my Lena from 86. So in one of my videos when I did the unboxing, she actually arrived with a, a snap neck. So I actually had to glue her back, but as you all can see, she looks great. Uh, I was able to fix her, no problem. Um, and yeah, she's hold on, she's, the glue has held on. I really don't want to move her too much just because I'm scared she'll fall again, like the neck's gonna fall again. But uh, anyway, she looks great. I really do like this figure a lot. Unfortunately, it's very hard to come across. Even on the aftermarket, people are asking for like north of $300 for her. So she, yeah, she, she's kind of a rare one nowadays. Uh, but overall, I do like it a lot. I did like the ending to uh, 86. Um, and yeah, I'll probably start reading the manga. <laughs> um, but yeah, next to her, we got Ai Hoshino by Katie Cole Karokawa. Uh, again, I also did an unboxing video on this one. Uh, she looks pretty good. I am very, very happy with this one of my favorite figures that I've unboxed so far. Um, there is, it is a lineup and I will be receiving the Ruby Hoshino one and the, uh, which one is the Kana Arima one. Uh, they still haven't announced the Mem Show, but if they do, I will pre-order that one too. Uh, but yep, overall, she looks great. If you want a look more, fig more pictures of her, you can watch my uh, other, my unboxing video. And finally, 
I my holy grail in my entire collection. I actually got this one only like a week ago, I would say. And, but she is gorgeous. I really wanted this one. And this is the John John Rock Altar by LeCorn. I think she looks fantastic. Such a good figure. Quite unfortunate that it doesn't fit on the display case, so I have her above. So I always constantly have to be dusting her off. But she is gorgeous. I do like this figure so much. Um, yeah, definitely my holy grail and my favorite figure in my entire collection. She is just perfection. And I'm very happy with her. And I'm glad I got her for a good price because I know usually people sell this one for like $350 to $400. But I actually got this one for a steal, uh, shipped and everything. Um, but yep, she looks great. I will get like a acrylic um, box for her just so I could protect her. Because she, yeah, she looks great though. Um, but yeah, but um, that's it for my uh, figure collection. Uh, this is kind of like a zoom out of how it kind of looks on my uh, living room. I don't think I'm gonna expand this any further given that I don't have any more space for more details. So I'll just have to put details in other areas of my place. But uh, uh, I really do like my figure collection, the way it's, it's come along. I do have a lot of pre-orders coming up. Um, and so I will be adding a lot more. I'm going to probably need the, to start using the two details that I have in my bedroom and more incoming. Uh, like I said, I will be doing my build, my PC build, my Evangelion themed uh, PC build eventually. Uh, I'm not sure if I should do a video whenever I finally have the components to make the build. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. I can definitely, it will be my first PC build, so you know, it's not gonna be the best, but I will try to get like all the Evangelion um, themed uh, components, such as the Evangelion motherboard maybe too. I mean, it's overpriced, but uh, you know, just to stay along, along the theme. Uh, but yeah, and that is the room tour. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, it is still a work in progress. Like I said, I only started collecting a little less than a year ago. So I still haven't gotten as many figures as I want to. Uh, and not to mention my money's kind of tied up in other projects aside from the figure collection. Like I said, I will be uh, building my gaming PC, my uh, video editor PC, but it's, it is gonna be a, a anime theme, Neon Genesis based. So do let me know in the comments if you would like for me to do a video about that. Uh, I'm just kind of curious. It will be my first PC build, so it might not be perfect, but like I said, I'm trying to build it as uh, as precise to Neon Genesis as possible. So, so if you want to see that video, just leave me a comment, and, uh, and I might just record all the entire process once I get to building that PC. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, if it helps me out a lot, it lets me know that you do like my content. Also, feel free to leave any other comments you want. Do you like the collection? Uh, are there any figures in particular that you like that you also have? Um, but yeah, feel free to leave any comments there. Uh, I will also be adding the link to my 2024 uh, pre-order roundup video. There you can see which figures I do have incoming, not to mention some more that I will be adding on as time continues. And I will do unboxing on most of those uh, orders coming in like that. If you're curious about any figures, uh, you know, you can click on that little bell icon and you'll be notified of, uh, that I put out a new video. Uh, but with that, that wraps up this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.